My name is Katherine Ivins. I'm a graduate student at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and I recently wrote a paper on commercial milk ELISAs and their ability to detect different kinds of milk residues in foods. We evaluated nine different commercial ELISA kits, and an ELISA kit is an antibody-based assay that works to detect residues of proteins in foods. So these ELISA kits target different types of proteins, different types of milk proteins within a food, but what we found is that they don't always target the same type of milk protein. There are several different types of milk proteins in food, and different milk ELISA kits target different milk proteins, which means that they quantify and tell us that there's a different amount of milk present in a food, even if there's the same amount of milk present. Uh, this is really important because we use these quantifiable ELISA kits to tell the food industry and to tell consumers whether or not there's a risk associated with consuming a certain food product. So what we've recommended with our research is that commercial ELISA kit manufacturers use one single reference material and adopt it to quantify all of their kits based on to build standard curves and so that we can have a kind of a baseline to measure milk proteins in processed foods. We recommended non-fat dry milk as a source and this will kind of give a really nice flat footing for all the ELISA kits. The focus of this research has really allowed us to develop a goal for the future in order to provide accurate recommendations for the food industry and for consumers as well.